Hello children, returning back to your MCB class, we'll be doing the brook again. When we talk about the brook, I told you all beforehand that we had done the first six paragraphs of the poem where we read about the various sounds that the brook makes. Along with it, we read that the brook is eternal whereas human beings are ephemeral. Now coming up to the seventh and eighth paragraph, I read it first. I wind about and in and out, with here a blossom sailing, and here and there a lusty trot, and here and there a grayling, and here and there a foamy flake upon me as I travel, with many a silvery water break above the golden gravel. Now what do we come to know from paragraph 7 and 8? Paragraph 7 we come to know that the brook with lots of ups and downs on its, on its way, it carries blossoms along with fishes with it. Stanza 8 tells us that the waves clashes with each other, it creates bubbles and as a result it creates foams too. The brook downwards contains golden colored stones within it. Stanza 9 and 10 and draw them all along and flow to join the brimming river. For men may come and men may go, but I go on forever. I steal by lawns and grassy plots. I slide by hazel covers. I move the sweet forget-me-nots that grow for happy lovers. Now what do we read here from stanza 9? The brook carries fishes, foams and flowers with it in its eternal journey. And stanza 10 tells us that it secretly flows through the grassy plots and lawns and moves swiftly by the bushy hazel trees. The brook also shakes the sweet forget-me-nots which grow for the happy lovers. Now stanza 11. I murmur under moons and stars in brambly wilderness. Sorry. I slip, I slide, I gloom, I glance among my skimming swallows. I make the netted sunbeam dance against my sandy shallows. I murmur under moon and stars I bram in brambly wilderness. I linger by my shingly bars, I loiter round my cresses. Now what do we read from stanza 10? Stanza 11, we read that the brook moves through, slipping, sliding through darkness as it flows. It finds swallows and other birds who sit on the surface while flowing. Stanza 12. It flows at night too. It flows, it goes on flowing when the total human world sleeps. It flows with a purpose to meet its destination between stones and cresses. Now here, the last paragraph as I read. And out again I curve and flow to join the brimming river. For men may come and men may go, but I go on forever. Now what do we read here? At last, after many obstacles, the brook flows along to join the river. At last too we find that the brook is eternal and human are ephemeral. Now coming up here in question number 3 and 4. Question 3. And many a fairy foreland set with willow, reed and mallow. Why do you think the speaker uses the word fairy? We find that the speaker uses the word fairy in order to show us that the world becomes a fairy foreland with flowers and beautiful plants. What do the weed and mallow indicate? Weed and mallow indicates the beautiful plants which beautify nature. Question 4. I slip, I slide, I glue my glance among my skimming swallows. What are the various movements that the brook makes and why? 
the various movements are slipping sliding moving through the darkness and so on why does it make this movements in order to join the brimming river question b what do the swallows do what are the various life forms that the brook supports what do the swallows do the swallows move on the surface of the water what are the various life forms the various life forms are the trouts the fishes and the various flowers which flow on the surface of the water okay thank you till here and the chapter is over please read the chapter properly